through the skills acquisition uh, and entrepreneurship uh, training from the camp, I was able to come up with an idea of a business, and uh, it has to do with uh, the packaging of our uh, indigenous product, which is curry that every one of us knows about. But I give it a name called Soaking Wakis. <laughs> and, uh, because when you saw it, you it, and, and, it and I branded it to be Castle Flakes, which is Castle Flakes only. And there are some other products that, as time goes on, that I will be producing. So I was in invited for uh, an exhibition program when uh, Said was doing the uh, one year anniversary. That was where the uh, Bank of Industry, the president of Bank of Industry, saw me and they encouraged me. And to the glory of God today, I was able to access uh, a fund worth uh, over 3.8 million naira from them. And uh, now um, I've made all the contact, and I'm now waiting for my machines to come down to my uh, my site, which I'll be located in my factory at Law Hotel, of which the work is ongoing now. So I want to advise my core members that you have to look at yourself, believe in yourself. Don't, don't put your mind on that certificate because that was what actually moved me on. I said, I don't want to go, I don't want to get out of the MIC and be roaming uh, the streets with my CV up and down. And God gave me that idea. You can come up with something very, very wonderful and the sky will be your starting point, just as God is telling with me now. We couldn't help but have a one-on-one -on -one interview with Simon, who last year was just a copper, but now a managing director of a striving micro company to encourage others. I finished my service uh, just last year, October 10th, 2013. And uh, as God will have it, I can say me becoming a, a managing director today is something that is, is designed by God already. So I never believed that by today being the 21st of January or before now that people can be addressing me as the managing director of a company. So how did that become possible? Well, I, the possibility of that just came in as a result of me embarking on a business of which if you ask me when I started, I never believed that it would turn out to be a, a global thing today because I have people that want to uh, be exporting this product out of this country. And I started a business with uh, a sum of uh, 1,250 naira. So I was just playing with it. So, uh, but as God will have it, I was invited for an exhibition program last year, sometimes August, August uh, 28th to be precise, last year, when uh, the site, which is a skills acquisition uh, and entrepreneurship development uh, aspect of the NYC was during their one year anniversary. That was where the Bank of Industry saw me. In fact, the, the, the regional manager then was Mr. Sonny, who is no longer in Abuja. So he came up and encouraged me and said the Bank of Industry will try their possible best to make sure that my dream comes into reality. And that was how Bank of Industry took over everything, virtually everything from that moment. And today, in fact, that was how I became the MD of my own company. Okay, you were still seven when this happened. Yes, ma'am. Now, can you tell us, was it through the side program that you acquired the skill? Yes, I, yeah, it was uh, through the side program. And even NYC sponsored me for a lot of programs. Uh, NYC sponsored me for USAID program, USAID Market 11, and uh, the Asset Nigeria, which is Association of Entrepreneurs and Technologists of Nigeria sponsored me for uh, a course which has got to do with uh, livestock, agro allied and livestock management. Uh, I have a certification in that. And I also uh, sponsored for a business consultancy program and a project management program. So I, because in all this program, we were taught on fund, when, when they give us the, the written in the, in the programs, they now drive us home to the aspect of fund management. And that was how I came up with an idea of trying to, to produce something. So now it was that idea of from the fund management that this vision of, in fact, starting of this business came in. 
uh, because NYC uh, it, it, they, they open our uh, our eyes to so many things. So I now decided to go into Gary production. Yeah, I never believed that BOI could do uh, something like that, and I kept on telling people that. I, I felt that it was normal Nigerian talk that people will come out to promise you and at the end of the day, we don't have Godfathers there, we don't have people in the system that just forget about you. Because I was like, it just took me by surprise. When, they, when yeah, Mr. Sonisa should come over to the office, I, I, I went there and he sat me down. He told me a lot of things I still never believed because I never had anybody there. I don't have anybody working with BOI. I was like, okay, let me go. Since he said I should come, let me just honor the visit. But to my greatest surprise, they said they are preparing my file. Somebody, my, my SBO is Mr. Jude and uh, another colleague, Mr. Paul. Every time, whenever I call them, they said the boss is on their neck. That he's disturbing them seriously. That I should try and be visiting. And in fact, they did the whole job for me. They did it. It was, it was as if I was just sleeping. They were just, they were connecting with Kogi State uh, Machine Fund while I was here, just like that. I never believed that this it will be possible, but all thanks to God and uh, in fact, BOI is God sent. <laughs> Core members present express great enthusiasm about the initiative. It's like a dream come true for most of us core members because we, we've been having this, we, we all have our plans, our business ideas, everything, and then we just don't know that there are funds there for us to access. So this kind of programs, this kind of opportunity we had today to see the signing of the MOU really inspired, it built up this inspiration in us. Now we are sure that whatever ideas we have can actually be brought to fulfillment. It's not just going to be an idea or a dream, it's going to be brought to reality. About my training, I am an estate surveyor, but I believe there should be something else that can be you know, delved into aside the white collar job. Something you can do your own with your own resources, try to build up and you know, to maturity. So with that, with what has been shown to us today, the plus one has been given to us now, it now gives up that yeah, putting aside a certificate obtained, you can still go ahead and pick up something else, another, uh, another venture, go into such, build it up and make it something that can, you know, benefit other Nigerians they can tap into, provide job employment, and from that, you as an individual, apart from your training, you can still be self-reliant and you can have income from both hands and making it a very worthwhile thing. It's a very, very good initiative, at least. It shows that our leaders do have us in mind, at the back of their mind, and it's a, it's a platform whereby we can get access to funds. We, we young um, Nigerians, most of us don't have that access to funds. We feel some of us actually have the potential to do what it is we want to do, but we are limited to funds. But with this agreement that was signed today, it shows us that we have that platform. We can reach out, we can reach out, and then they would supply us with whatever we need to achieve our dreams, to be able to train other people also, to be able to do what it is that we want to do. Well, Copas Vio, the message is simple. Um, don't just dwell on your certificates. Acquire that skill you have in you. We all have this God-given gift given to us from inception, from birth and all of that. So work on it. Take a journey inward. Develop your skill. And of course, now that there's money and there's fund, apply and get this job done, basically.